What's up, what's up guys? It's your boy Boss Man. Today we are back and I've been hearing good things about these. I've been keeping fish for years and I never tried these. So we're going to do it today. I've been hearing a lot of good things about these and I've been seeing them in the hobby for years and years. And I've never really been into plants, but I'm starting to get into plants and I decided to go pick me one up. And I've been letting it sit right here in front of this light for the last couple of days. And I can already see that it's growing and doing way much better than what it was in the store when I bought it. Um, so this is going to be my first time ever using one of these, ever setting one of these into my tank. So if this is your first time and you keep clicking on this video because you want to learn more about this, we're going to learn together. And I'm going to show you guys how to clean it and get it set up. I can already see there's some bugs crawling on there look like some little mites or something that's crawling on wow it's a lot of mites now that i'm looking at it wow so yeah we really have to clean these because we don't want to get that into our tank so that's really a good learning point right there um because i mean i guess that could be like food for the fish but there's no fish in here right now i still haven't even added any fish to the tank and that will be happening soon in a future video but we're going to go ahead and get these cleaned up and add them to the tank and we'll see how this works because my tank, my 60 gallon right now currently, I'll show you guys, currently has a bacteria bloom. It's doing good, but well, today is doing good. I woke up, it was doing good, but it was going through a bacteria bloom because I got a brand new filter, brand new rocks, brand new centerpiece, brand new tank. There's no beneficial bacteria in this aquarium at all so it has nothing to grow and build off of so it went through a big a bacteria bloom i do have a rock that was in my pond that i brought up here to put it in to hold this centerpiece down because surprisingly the centerpiece wouldn't float and i was pretty pretty upset about that that it, i mean it, it wouldn't stay down it started to float so i was pretty upset about that but pretty much i need to get some bacteria going in here and yeah, so I'm gonna probably be buying some snails or something here soon. I will be making a video on that. But so that's why I thought about getting this plant. So that way, <clears throat> maybe this plant can start helping that and then I can go get some snails or maybe you guys can give me some suggestions of some things. I, I, can, I haven't started a tank in so long because all my tanks have been up and running for so many years that I haven't had to really just start a tank from scratching in, in so long. So um, give me some suggestions, what kind of fish are what little inverter braids or something I can put in here to kind of like jumpstart it. Um, maybe I can go add some bacteria or something like that, but I'm not in no rush with this tank. I want it to just go through a cycle and uh, we'll be adding some cool fish. I have a really good idea on what I want to add as far as fish to here. Um, I'm thinking like a schooling fish, you know, and just let them just do their thing. And I think that'd be cool low maintenance so let me know in the comment section what you guys think but we're not here for that y'all here to talk about this so let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll see how this go all right so okay guys we outside and it definitely is a beautiful day in the neighborhood but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this try not to break it but that's my way of doing it with one hand we're gonna try to get all this junk off. And I'm gonna take the little water hose. I wanna to try to get these roots as clean as possible. Um, Cause we don't want that in our tank. We got a we got a decently clean. I'm gonna take them inside and I'm gonna clean them some more. But for the most part, it's decently clean. And this is a pretty good size piece. You can get these a lot of bigger than that. But you see, like these little spikes that's on there right there. Each of those spikes are going to be a leaf that is going to grow. So once I put this in my water, 
and get some fish in there and they start doing what they do, this thing is gonna grow into a crazy vine and it's gonna help filter the water and it's gonna be safe for the fish as long as I get all the mites and make sure anything, any chemicals or anything that could be on there, make sure to get all that, clean that really good and get all that stuff off of there. And this will be another great filtration for your tank and it looks good it's aesthetically pleasing and especially for tanks that got like flat tops or don't have canopies or anything like that you can put this on the top of your tank it looks really good so i'm gonna clean it off a little bit more before we go in and then i'm gonna take it inside clean it some more and that's pretty much it okay so i cleaned it to the best of my ability and to what i think is clean Got all the bugs and everything off of it. And now we're gonna go ahead and add this to the tank. There we go. Now, I like that right there. So what I just did was I kind of hooked the end of it under my filter right there and you get a lot of it hanging in and once i fill the water up it should be good and that looks good and it should grow all over the back of here it's gonna have really good sunlight right here and it should help filter the tank and i'm gonna add some more some stuff in there so i don't know that's pretty much it on how to add uh, these pathos, pathos plants to your tank. I like it. It looks pretty good to me. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, and also let me know what kind of little starter fish I should get because I'm going to get some starter fish just to get something going in here. So let me know in the comment section what type of starter fish I should get. And... Maybe I'll go get those and add that. Maybe that'd be a video for you guys. Um, if not, um, thanks for watching my videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here.